don't just make it an affirmation, but make it a part of who you are and say every day, like, I'm going to make myself proud. I do what it takes um, to make myself proud. And I will be at that retreat, block it off your calendar, book the flight. I mean, whatever you have to do to put yourself in a state of fully accepting that you deserve to be there. What the heck is all this advice? Make it a part of who you are. Book the flight all for this little retreat before you even know if you have a spot there. This is horrible advice. And she's just saying it so nonchalantly like this is really the best thing for you. That is not the best thing for you. Do not go book your flight. Do not make this retreat a part of you. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm G and you know the drill. I'm here to talk about the shady, predatory, and manipulative tactics of MLMs. Specifically, we're still talking about Q Sciences. Sorry, but not sorry. There's just a lot to say about them. So, hi Q Sciences friends, how are you? Hope you're doing good. Thanks for coming back. Today, I have a treat for you all. We have a super secret team meeting that no one outside of Q Sciences was supposed to see. This is a team huddle for the Aligned Society, one of the top teams led by our friend who we've been spending quite a lot of time with here on my channel recently. In this team call, she's really trying to hype up her downline and get them excited to recruit, 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 and earn enough points to have the opportunity to pay more money to go to this retreat. This retreat is being held at a special place, in fact, Back Switch Lodge which is a cabin that's owned by one of the owners of the company. So in this team meeting, we're gonna see a lot of pressure tactics and a lot of manipulation to try to get these people incentivized to recruit, 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 and attend this retreat. Like I've said before, these videos are nothing personal against the specific team leader. This is just me wanting to speak up on things that I perceive to be manipulative and predatory. And it just so happens that the things that she's doing are coming off pretty manipulative and predatory to me. She's making the choice to go out and represent the company publicly on a lot of social media platforms and to heavily recruit people. So in my opinion, it's fair and warranted that they get some healthy criticism. That being said, let's all be respectful. Let's all be kind. Let's all be gracious with each other because we're all here to listen and learn hopefully. So we're going to go ahead and get started. But before we do, do me a favor, check to make sure that you're subscribed. And if you want to be super cool, click the little bell so you'll be notified of future videos that I post. And as always, please comment your thoughts below as we progress throughout the video. With that being said, let's get started. I'm going to hit record. And let's go ahead and jump right in because I want to be respectful of everyone's time. And this is going to be a short and sweet uh, team huddle tonight. So first and foremost, I have been refreshing and refreshing and refreshing my email, you guys. In fact, I'm going to pull it up again right now because my liaison was actually going to send me today the first lineup of the top like 25 people with points for the, let me see if he sent it, for the retreat contest. Isn't that crazy? Because it was retroactive to May 1st. We have a ton of people with points already. In fact, I just saw a bunch of texts. I've got Kels, um, Kelsey Boys. She's already gotten like tons of points just today <laughs> because she's saying two ambassadors just today. Super exciting. So congrats to her. You'll have to shoot her a message after this and be like, hey, you got a shout out. I don't know if she's on here, um, but super excited for her. So those kinds of things, right? Like we have so many people in crazy momentum. If you have not signed a customer or an ambassador in a really long time, simmer down. It's business. It's life. We're all going to have different waves of momentum and things like that. That's why this contest goes for so long. The whole month of May, the whole month of June. Simmer down? Just something about the way that she said that doesn't make me feel very good. And the first little bit of July as well. Okay, so let's go. No better time to go on a 60, 75 day run. Might as well do 75 hard. <laughs> Start right now. You'll be done by the time this is over. Um, so anyway, I'm super. 
when she says go 75 hard, she's saying 75 days of recruiting, recruiting, recruiting. Busting your ass trying to recruit people to join just so you'll be able to go on this trip. I have a pro tip for you. If you want to go on a trip, just go on a trip without joining an MLM. It's cheaper. We're excited about this retreat and I want to tell you guys a little bit about it. For those of you guys who are not familiar, drop in the comments below if you have been to the owner's or president's lodge, mansion, cabin, lodge in the beautiful mountains of Utah. Also, why does literally not a single person have their camera on? I feel like I'm talking to no one except for a bunch of filtered faces. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank God. Somebody's randomly driving. Jen, thank you for being a normal human being in the car. This is what I needed in my life. Oh, hi, Diana. Hey, Tara. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Brianna. Okay. Woo, woo. Just making sure you're all here. Okay. That was so rude. And then she really had to go and say, all I see are these filtered faces. What is she trying to say right there? Because that sounded to me like it was meant to be a put down. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just a joke, but that didn't feel good to me. I'm just not getting a good feeling hearing the way that she speaks to her underlings or her downline. And if I was someone who hadn't turned my camera on yet, I definitely would not be looking forward to it now. Even me as a teacher who taught students on Zoom during the pandemic would never speak to a student like that if they didn't have their camera turned on. Can you imagine? There are women who are legitimately driving right now who felt pressure to turning their camera on, even though it's gonna put them at risk of being distracted and looking at their phone while they're driving, possibly getting into an accident. But what's more important is for her to see their faces, her ego. In my opinion, you can't have these hard and strict rules about having to have your camera on at all times, especially if it's in the evening hours, which I'm guessing this is. People are probably multitasking, cooking dinner, cleaning, picking up the kids, doing laundry, driving. It just feels very, very controlling to me to have that sort of rigid expectation. But also look, look at how quickly some of the people turned on their camera just by hearing her get that nasty tone, which she followed up with some laughs and making it seem like, ha ha ha, everything's okay. But no, I wouldn't appreciate being talked to that way if it were me. What about you guys? Let me know in the comments below what you think of that so far. Anyways, um, drop in the comments below if you've been to the lodge. Okay. A lot of you guys have. Risa's on here. Um, oh, Shannon and uh, Christine actually haven't been to this lodge. They went to one of the Silver Summits at a huge mansion before they ever got the one they're in now. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, but so many of you guys have seen it. It's beautiful. You've seen the photos. It sleeps like 45 people. Okay. So it's giant. When I say mansion, I mean mansion. And, um, am I the only one who finds it tasteless and tone deaf that she's going on and on about this mega mansion that can sleep 45 people while the rest of the 99% of people in this company are losing money each month? Rents are increasing like never seen before. Gas is at an all time high. The price for groceries is exorbitant, but please go on about this mansion. And just in case you guys are curious, I will drop in a video right now so you can see what this mansion mansion looks like. It looks like they frequently hold retreats and other types of events here. It is not about how gorgeous the home is though. <laughs> this experience at the lodge, you can't really explain it. <laughs> it can't really be described in a great way, in the per in a perfect way. And I, I only say that because it's not something that you can write about. It's like tangible. 
It's something you experience that you feel. Many of us that were just in Florida this past week, holla, experienced exactly what I'm talking about. There, we were like crying so much. We were peeing and then we all bawled the last night and we're emotional. Like it was all kinds of phases. We went through all nine stages of grief or whatever <laughs> during this thing that we were excited. We were angry. No, I'm just kidding. Nobody got mad. But I'm just making the point that what we felt that last night, what we felt those days, that, that experience, you can't really explain it. You could say we all got together, talked about our hopes and dreams and cried. Nothing can replicate what happened in that room and the connections that were made and how clearly I see people now so differently. All, you know, preconceived ideas just fade away because you get to know somebody for who they, it just, you can't explain it. Well, magnify that by 15 million because now add in our owners in their sweatpants to the mix. Add in our corporate staff, Kelly Allred, our director of communications, Randy, our director of operations, Ann Billings, Roy Clark, marketing team, product development, you name it, they're all going to be there. Our director of compliance, our director of customer service, our director of charity affairs, our global events coordinator is in the kitchen cooking the whole time. Like you guys, I'm not kidding you when I tell you eating together, bonding. There's a freaking swing in the kitchen. There is a swing in there that you sit on and you can swing like inside the kitchen because it's so beautiful and huge. Like that is what we're going to be experiencing. And I want you all there so freaking bad. Well, swing in the kitchen. Okay. I'm sold. I've just got to be there. But in all seriousness, Everything she just described sounds concerning to me as an objective person who is not involved in this company because this is how she explained this retreat. Let me remind you, it can't really be explained. It can't be described in a perfect way. It's not something you can write about. It's tangible. It's something you experience. They were crying so much that they were peeing. They went through the nine stages of grief. In my mind, I am just making associations with cult gatherings where they are really tapping into your emotions and having you do activities that really bond you to the other people and especially with the owners and let me just share with you how this reminds me of cults and cult tactics for recruitment. So here are four psychological techniques cults use to recruit members. This is from an article on Big Think. It'll be linked below. Here are the four techniques. First, pick the right target. Second, love bomb them. Third, isolation, and fourth, keeping control. So we've talked on this channel before about how MLMs go after specific types of people who are going to be maybe more gullible, maybe more easily manipulated, maybe who are super desperate, who are longing for something, who really need connection or community. These are the types of people that they will go after, right? Because they're more susceptible. Then they will love bomb you. They will make you feel like the most important person ever. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. You are helping us so much you're incredible, you fit right in. And then comes this isolation piece, which this whole retreat just really reminds me of this isolation piece. Once they've enticed a recruit with approval or the promise of some fulfilling understanding of the universe, cultists then work to isolate the recruit. Often this takes the form of a weekend retreat where the recruit is immersed in the cult's ideology over the course of a few days. Not only are recruits physically isolated, isolated from friends and family members who might otherwise provide a reality check, but cults often isolate recruits from outside information. Newspapers, books, TV, web access are all censored, ensuring that the only reality the recruit gets to experience is the one presented by the cult. Now I know that's kind of extreme, and I'm not venturing to say that Q Science is taking away people's phones and computers and restricting their access to the real world, but I do think that retreats like like this are really good at isolating people and getting them in a position where they're going to be more likely to absorb, as this MLM loves to make you absorb things, they're going to be better able to absorb the indoctrination. And then we go on to the fourth technique,
technique, which is keeping control. After convincing you that they're the best friends you've ever had and bombarding you with the cult's ideology, the cultist's next job is to make sure they hang on to you. There's a variety of techniques they can use to accomplish this, but these usually involve iteratively subjecting the cult recruit to terror and love. In an interview with Aeon, social psychologist Alexandra Stein explained that when we are frightened, we don't simply run away from the fear, but run to a safe haven, to someone. And that someone is usually a person to whom we feel attached. But when the supposed safe haven is also the source of the fear, then running to that person is a failing strategy, causing the frightened person to freeze, trapped between approach and avoidance. By keeping cult members totally off balance in this way, cults increase their members' dependency on the leader, ensuring they retain control. The exhausting, frozen state of terror and avoidance overwhelms cult members and their ability to think critically about the ideology they've suddenly committed themselves to. Who's to say that Q Sciences or that this team really is a cult? But what I can say is some of the things that I see and hear really, really remind me of cults. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts below. So let's go over these details because you guys need to be there. (laughs) And I want you guys to be there so bad. Okay. So I'm going to go to the post about it. Okay. So the lodge is called Backswitch Lodge. Okay. That's the name that Jake and Sarah named it. So you guys will know it's the Alliance Society takes Backswitch back switch Lodge. Okay. It's not just the Alliance Society. As you know, I'm partnering with my little co-conspirator partner in crime, Katie Bristow, a platinum in our, ba- our co-conspirator partner in crime. Some good self-awareness there, I must say. In our company had never been in this industry before hit platinum in a couple of years. Her and her husband, huge success in this company, but also in their traditional business. They own a gym. And um, you really think it's a coincidence that they've been super successful in this business and they also own a gym? They have the perfect setup. They're able to make legitimate money from their gym memberships, but then they can also potentially recruit their gym customers and make even more money off of them. She was president's pick the other time. She's been on council twice now. Um, Her upline, to give you guys some perspective, is Bridget Schofel. So you guys know Bridget. She obviously has done these uh, retreats with me in the past, so she'll, of course, be there. Marielle Filipponi lives in Park City, Utah, so obviously her and Frank will be there. It's going to be freaking off the chain. You guys don't even know all the things we have planned, all the gifts, all the fun experience, et cetera. Here is how you earn it. Okay. I'm going to break it down in a second, but I want to give you guys a nutshell, like what the actual retreat layout is going to be. Okay. September 21st, when you arrive is a Wednesday. Okay. You arrive on Wednesday and you're going to Uber, you pay your way to come. Okay. There will be a small fee for the lodge itself as well. We're working out details with all the pricing and everything, but that one look kind of like silver summit. What is it? They charge for silver summit, like 199. Okay. That fee includes transportation up and down the lodge, all the food, all the lodging, transportation to the airport, like hotel accommodations the night before, everything is lumped into that $199. So it will be something like that. But you get yourself there. And um, and then obviously we'll just cover all the rest of it because $199 clearly would cover not all of that normally. Um, but either way, obviously we want to bless you guys and make this amazing, but this is a huge deal having it at the lodge. And- so did you hear that right? You have to pay your own airfare. Let's say that you do not live in Utah. Let's say that you live in Florida or New York. You are going to have to pay for your own traveling expenses on getting there. Does that sound like a reward to you? And then you have to pay an additional $1.99 for the cabin fee. And she's making it sound like they're doing you such a favor because they really just want to bless you with this. If you're really concerned with blessing people, then make it completely free. Pay for everyone's airfare. Pay for everyone's traveling costs. That would be the true blessing. And so we have to make sure that everybody is accommodated and that everybody gets a hotel room and all that good stuff the night before. So you fly into Utah. Sorry, I keep pausing it, but I'm trying to get this straight. The night before you get to the lodge, everybody has to stay in a hotel room too? Okay, I don't get that. 
Salt Lake City, Utah, start looking at flights and you're going to Uber to the hotel that's right next door to the office. At that hotel, we're going to have a fun like pool, hot tub, meet and greet, cocktail reception. The first night everybody arrives, super fun. That's when we get to know each other, break the ice, enjoy each other. And then the next cocktail hour, hot tub, enjoying each other. That sounds really great and nice, but it seems weird when you think about this in the perspective of this being a work retreat. Or maybe I'm reading into it too much, but I think it would be awkward and inappropriate to expect people to want to drink and get in their bathing suits and get in the hot tub with their colleagues and their bosses. What do you guys think? Let me know below. This morning we'll all go to the corporate office. So it's walking distance. You just walk across the parking parking lot, go to the corporate office. We'll take a tour. We'll say hi to Mark and Jake. Most of them are already going to be coming up with us at the lodge. It's going to be super fun. We're going to load in their huge Mercedes vans and they're going to take us up to the lodge. It's about an hour and a half drive. We'll prep you on everything you need to know as far as that goes. Um, but then we go up to the lodge. We spend the night at the lodge. Oh, yeah. So we spend the night at the hotel the night before. Okay. So all the room, everything will be included, like I mentioned. The next day we go to the office. We go up to the lodge. So we have Thursday night and Friday night up at the lodge. So two nights, tons of free time, tons of training. On Saturday, all the buses will take everybody um, directly to the airport to fly home on Saturday. Tons of free time, tons of training. Well, which is it? <laughs> um, so that's kind of the detail breakdown. I'm not going to give you guys too much of like the agenda because, you know, that's the fun part. Um, and this is how you earn it. Baseline personal production. That's it. If you are working, you're going to end up earning a spot. If you are not working and you're in manager mode or you're in your head and you're not doing personal activity, you're probably not going to earn a spot. So this isn't just about helping your team. It's not about just helping other people. This is about helping yourself because you need to feed your own kids before you feed everyone else's. <laughs> okay. How is spending all of this money and all of this time to go stay for three days in Utah and do all these trainings, how is that going to help somebody be able to feed their kids? What if instead you stayed home, you didn't waste hundreds on airfare, and you actually made meals and cooked for your kids? That seems like a better idea in my opinion. So you're going to get points added up and the top point earners are going to be the ones that earn the trip. Okay, so if you enroll a customer, depending on their CV purchase, you get a number of points. If you enroll an ambassador, obviously we only give you points if they're at 100 PV commission qualified at the time of their enrollment, you get 15 points. If you help your new ambassador that has to enroll- I just want to point out that enrolling a customer is very little points. It's only 10 points. It's between 10 and 15 points here. Enrolling an ambassador who has 100 PV is only worth 15 points. That's really not that much. Enroll during the contest period. Hit any new rank, builder, pro, or executive. They don't have to hit it in their fast start window. If they join today and you help them hit executive by the end of the contest, July 5th, great. You get those extra points for helping them go executive. But you also get points for hitting a new lifetime rank. So what that means is if you help your downline recruit people and you help them level up, then that's going to earn you points. So it's not even as simple as you just going out and recruiting. You have to make sure that your recruits are actively recruiting people. So they're going to get points for going executive as well, which is really cool because you could probably earn it with your team. You also will get a, a big chunk of points for hitting a new lifetime rank, OV or CV rank. So if you've never hit the rank of builder in customer volume, look how many points that is. <laughs> That's more points than enrolling one ambassador, okay? So you get all of those. If you hit the rank of gold or above for the first time during this contest period, it's obviously an automatic earned spot. You're going to have a huge team with you, so you're welcome. Um, you're going to have a huge team with you, so you're welcome. No. You're welcome. You depend on the income from underneath that person's team, not the other way around. If you get a ticket to go to any of the owner's tours in person, obviously you're going to have more points. If you get any ticket virtually, I just got every single event that I'm not attending in person's virtual ticket. They range from $15 to 20 bucks. They're $10, I think even to 20 bucks, depending on the venue and the location, they're cheap. 
There's going to be promos at every stop, so that's literally a duh, no brainer. See how there just seems to be an additional cost to you on so many extra things. And yeah, 10, 15, 20 dollars may not seem like a lot at first, but those sums will add up, especially when we look at how much these little events cost. I'm going to show some pictures right now that have some of the prices for that. This is why 99% of people involved in MLMs lose money because MLM participants are the ones that are funding the MLM by purchasing their packs, their training materials, their tickets to their events, their conventions. And then she also said even if you're not able to attend an event, purchase the tickets anyway. But if you're not going to be able to attend something or enjoy it or pay attention, why waste your money on it? It doesn't make sense in the real world, but it makes perfect sense for MLMs because they continue making money off of you. The highest amount of points are given, what do you think to? Going to convention. You need to get your Unite ticket in person and you get points. Here's the kicker though. I'm going to announce the winners, but the people that no show to convention in August are not going to get those points. I'm going to take them down off of there. And if they do not, um, virtual counts as well, obviously. If you do not attend convention, and you don't or don't log into the virtual event for international. Obviously, there's virtual events for international. I don't know if they're going to do virtual for the U.S. They don't tell us that until usually at the event. Um, if you don't attend, I'm going to take those points off, and which might make you lose your spot. So commit to it and decide to be there. Don't just buy a ticket to get 100 points out of the gate and be a top point earner when you're not even in production, okay? That's so contradictory. She wants you to buy all this crap so you can get points, but now she's saying, don't do it just for the points. Also, did you guys catch when she said, if you don't go to convention, I'm taking your points off? That was super manipulative in my opinion and overly demanding. And I don't appreciate being talked to like I'm a five-year-old who's getting punished and getting stickers taken off my star chart. Your personal auto ship. If you have your personal auto ship run by this Friday, you automatically get 25 points. If it runs on the 1st of June, so notice I only am doing it on the 1st for the rest of the contest. June 1st, 25 points. July 1st, 25 points. Your auto ship needs to be 100 PV minimum, so don't put a spray in there and call it good. Don't put a spray in there and call it good. Spend your money and line our pockets. You get all these points added in. Guys, these are baseline things that you were doing anyway but it's just fun to reward the people that are continuing to be in production. At the retreat we were just at with Marielle's group last week, it was the coolest thing to see because there were people who had been with Q for four years. And then there were people who had been with Q for three weeks. <laughs> like it was such a good range of people. And that's what I'm really hoping happens with this group. I want some of my OGs to step it up over the next couple of months and freaking take a spot, take what's yours. You've been loyal. Let's put some work in. You know, <laughs> that's so wrong. Putting it back on the OGs to put the work in, take your spot. Well, then don't make it so dang difficult. If I were a loyal employee for four years and I wasn't able to make it on this kind of trip, but some newbie with three weeks experience in the company was able to go, that would actually sting. If these OGs are loyal to the company, then where's the company's loyalty to them? And then some of you who are brand new, somebody who has not even joined yet will earn this. I guarantee it. Somebody could join June 10th and still earn it. But here's the trick. Here's the fun part. I'm going to release a few spots now, not right this minute, but with this contest through July. And then I'm still going to open up a couple more spots for people who join us after convention or the month of convention. If they join after I've already announced the winners, I'm going to have some additional spots released. So that will be great for some of your new people that you're bringing in. You can use earning the retreat as a recruiting tool, recruit somebody, help run them out to executive, and they can earn one of the extra spots that we have. So it's going to be super fun and exciting. I'm going to go in here really quick and just show you guys. Um, put that away. Oh my gosh. Help. Help. <laughs> okay. Close that. Um, in the comments, if you guys go into the comments, I have a breakdown of what to expect plus pictures of the lodge. You guys can look through all of those. There's so many. It's gorgeous. 
Um, you guys are going to be blown away. There's pictures of the rooms and stuff in there that will blow your mind. And then here's also the live that I did with myself and Katie Bristow, <laughs> where we broke down. Uh, I'm giving everybody a second to hop on and we're waiting. I'm literally. Thank you. The details as well. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys are freaking pumped. If I were you, I would be creating vision all over the place. Don't just make it an affirmation, but make it a part of who you are and say every day, like, I'm going to make myself proud. I do what it takes um, to make myself proud. And I will be at that retreat, block it off your calendar, book the flight. I mean, whatever you have to do to put yourself in a state of fully accepting that you deserve to be there. What the heck is all this advice? Make it a part of who you are. Book the flight all for this little retreat before you even know if you have a spot there. This is horrible advice. And she's just saying it so nonchalantly like this is really the best thing for you. That is not the best thing for you. Do not go book your flight. Do not make this retreat a part of you. Let it go. If you want to go on a vacation with your friends, go on a freaking vacation. But don't be paying so much money and doing all of these extra things just to have the opportunity to pay more money to go do more things for these people. <sighs> Sorry. I just, seeing that irritated me because how can you say with such a straight face, book your flight now? That's just, it disappoints me. And um, taking that spot is going to be huge. Now, lastly, before I let you guys go, because this is all I want you to focus on right now is just how much fun we're going to have at this event. Um, lastly, I want to tell you guys that um, we have these owners tours. Guys, I'm not going to beat a dead horse here. They're talking about how important they are. Do not let the opportunity to go to a, maybe one or two of these in person slip past you. Okay. Because they are going to be a unique experience. This is not convention. This is not a regional. This is not an opportunity presentation. This is an owner's tour, which is a tangible experience recreating what it's like when a huge leader from another company flies into the office to get to know Q to see if it's the right fit for them. That's what the owner's tours are. So I asked some of my sources to tell me a little bit more about these, about the owner's tour. This is what I got. They're nothing special besides people just going to get the same training they can get at every other event or Zoom, and then they get to meet Jake and Mark. And then I asked my source if they could tell me a little bit more about how people are supposed to treat Jake and Mark. And I asked this person, do the Q Sciences members try to play it up like Jake and Mark are celebrities and you should be so lucky to have some FaceTime in front of them. My source said, yes, it's sickening, especially this woman on this training. She would literally make it seem like nobody else's time is valuable and that you should be honored to talk to him because he doesn't have to do it. And they really don't respect people's time. And even though they are quick to talk about boundaries, they often disrespect their downlines boundaries and will hound them relentlessly. And again, going back to cult attributes, when you have a leader in this exalted position where people are meant to idolize them and treat them as if they're some guru who holds all the secrets, that's just a creepy sign in my opinion. All of this is my opinion. You're, you're fine to disagree, but I don't think it's that normal in most industries to have to speak about your leader in this way. For example, in my case, the superintendent, right? We wouldn't have to go be like, oh my gosh, the superintendent is so incredibly amazing. You just have to talk to her. In my case, yes, she actually is pretty cool. But in my example here, what I'm trying to say is it shouldn't have to be that way. Who cares if you like the superintendent or not? That shouldn't change what you have to do for your job. So I'm going to Florida next week. If you're anywhere in Florida, you need to message me so we can meet up and all of that. I'm going to Sacramento. I'm going to Dallas, of course, and I'm going to New Orleans. Okay. So if you're planning on going to any of those, if I, if you can fly to one of them and you have to pick, choose one of those, because if I'm there, I can make sure you get some extra time with who you want to spend time with during the day before the event that night. If I'm not there, you're on your own. 
go, go try to find Jake and stop him and (laughs) spend some extra time with him. I can help coordinate it a little bit better if it's one that I'm at. So if you can go to one that I'm going to be at, that would be amazing. And, um, if not guys just pick up the virtual tickets, these promos he's doing are insane. 10% check matching for new people that join your team. Um, $99 reimbursements. He just announced today that they're giving all of the people that are going to be in Florida next week, 10 days of the new trim plus to beta test and give feedback on the new product, like insane kind of stuff. Um, and what they've been able to do with that product with kind of new science coming available and taking out the caffeine, which sometimes can make people bloated about 10% of people like they're reformulating it because new research has turned up and it's going to be incredible. So I'm super excited excited. As you guys can tell, freaking pumped. I have this much water left to drink. So I'm going to be up all night peeing. So I'm going to get off of here. (laughs) Thank God I've already gotten my two workouts in. Otherwise I'd be like, but I'm going to hop off here. Thank you guys so much for hopping on. I'll post this recording to the May recordings post in the team page. I'll put all the recordings in the comments. So you guys can tag all your people that weren't on here to make sure you see that. Um, and as soon as I get the report of who is already in the top 2025, trust me, I will post it. Okay. Love you guys. Have a great night. Bye everybody. So you guys, I wish I could give you more commentary, but the little red battery just came up on my camera telling me it's about to die. I'm sorry. That's really frustrating. This battery just dies on me so often. Also, I've been recording a lot today. I'm wasting time. I will talk to you more in another video, but for now I'm going to go. Let me know what you think below in the comments. Okay. Okay. Bye guys. Thank you so much. See you later. (laughs) Don't join Q Sciences, please. In my opinion.